students welcome back to apple b academy's classes so in this video we are going to discuss about traditional approach uh, which is considered as an important approach in, uh, in related to capital structure theory okay so we know that capital structure theory is a very important area from business finance unit uh, for every exam you can actually expect a question from this particular area capital structure theories either they can ask for basics uh, but mostly they are concentrated on the types of theories so uh, we already discussed about most of the theories like net income net operating income and mm approach anyway in this video we are specifically concentrating on traditional approach so before going to study uh, about this traditional approach in detail uh, i'll just show you a question which got asked in december 2020 shift to students according to the traditional approach what is the effect of increase in the degree of leverage on the valuation of f increases decreases remain unaffected increases first and then decreases okay so it's a direct question and which is related to traditional approach so uh, before going to answer this question we should know what is capital structure theories and what do you mean by this traditional approach so uh, capital structure theories are very familiar to you as uh, it's about the different kinds of theory proposed by the different authors and they are actually trying to explain the relationship between uh, the cost of capital overall cost of capital Uh, then and uh, also about the value of the firm in related to the changes in capital structure okay now when you are coming to the categories of theories or approaches generally we have four approaches net income net operating income traditional approach and modding lani miller approach so we'll start with this traditional approach so see traditional approach is also known as intermediate approach or midway approach these points are very important intermediate approach or a midway approach for uh, next time they can actually ask like uh, intermediate approach okay in in place of traditional approach they can use the term intermediate approach or midway approach so you should know that it is another name of a traditional approach okay so it is also known as uh, as intermediate and midway approach and this was actually advocated by solomon and fred wester okay
this traditional approach he suggested optimum capital structure so according to him optimum capital structure is a point where uh, when you are just considering about uh, overall cost of capital which is minimum and the value of the firm is maximum okay so the point at which the overall cost of capital is minimum and the value of firm is maximum that's the situation of a optimum capital structure okay so according to traditional approach or according to this concept it, it is uh, uh, or according to this particular concept it is suggested that there is an optimal capital structure okay anyway when you are considering about this traditional uh, approach we can actually make uh, three stages okay three stages are actually included in a traditional approach so it's actually a combination of net income and net operating income approach so if you are familiar with net income and net operating income approach it is very easy uh, to understand traditional approach okay so anyway we'll consider the first stage what's the situation of first stage so you can see that first stage is exactly similar to net income approach okay because according to this stage it is uh, referred that when the uh, debt composition in the capital structure is increased okay the combination or the uh, proportion of debt in the capital structure increased the overall cost of capital will be decreased and the value of the firm will be increased okay when you are using more debt on your uh, capital structure more debt content in your capital structure what will happen to your overall cost of capital overall cost of capital will fall and uh, value of the firm will increase okay so that's why it is said that it is similar to net income approach that what's happening in case of a net income approach right so why this is happening it's because cost of debt is cheaper when you're comparing it with cost of equity which is already referred in the assumption of net income approach so that is actually happening in case of first stage and first stage itself it is uh, going to the optimum point okay so the uh, at this stage first stage itself uh, the capital structure is going to its uh, optimum point the point at which overall cost of capital is minimum and value of the firm is maximum okay and what is uh, happening in the second stage see again you are using debt okay in the first stage you you are using a uh, huge debt and what happens your overall cost of capital fall and the value of the firm increased and after that again you are employing more and more debt what is happening see at this stage there is no change okay so it's remain constant the increased debt beyond a particular limit no effect on the value of the firm and overall cost of capital so nothing is actually happening everything is remaining constant okay so again it is going through the optimal level itself as already which uh, which got reached optimal level in the first stage it is actually continuing there is no change by using more debt and again you are using debt okay again you are using more debt what will happen see the capital structure will increase the overall cost of capital now after that you are again using uh, debt what will happen overall cost of capital will increase so your cost is increasing and as a result your value value of the firm will decrease okay so first stage in the first stage you are using debt and as we know that debt is cheaper when you are comparing with equity at this stage your cost of capital is declining and the value of the firm is increasing and it reaches its optimal level after that again you are using debt at this stage what happens see there is no change is actually happening for a uh, both these overall cost of capital and value of the firm but after that you are using again again you are using debt okay you are again improving your or increasing your debt proposition in capital structure that will result in declining your value of the firm this is because uh, overall cost of capital got increased okay so apart a limit you are using again and again that what will happen there is a certain limit but again you are using that that will result in increased overall cost of capital as your cost is increasing what will happen the value of the firm will decrease these are the three stages in a traditional approach so you should know what is traditional approach what are the different names which is connected with traditional approach and what are the three stages in traditional approach okay now it is very easy for you to answer this question i will read it again according to traditional approach what is the effect of increase in the degree of leverage on valuation that means you are uh, using more debt okay what is the result increase decrease remain unaffected increases first and then decreases see actually these three stages is happening and the first stage 
the value of the firm is increasing then which remain constant and after that it is declining right so everything is actually happen ha happening in this stage so you can't go for option a increases because decreases is there remain constant is there okay so a can't be a proper answer a is happening increases is there but it's not like that that decreases decreasing is also happening but not only decreasing right remain unaffected okay it is it is remaining constant for a particular point of time that is also correct and when you are coming to option d you can see that it is a appropriate option while coming uh, considering other options increases first so at the beginning stage or first stage it is increasing and after that it is decreasing so uh, there is a point which it remain constant but after that what is happening it decreases so when you are considering the other options which is more appropriate which is option d increases first and then decreases okay you should when you are when you find that other options is also uh, correct in one way or another way you should find or you should choose the most appropriate option from the given situation okay so here you can see that it is increasing first and then decreases is also happening so the best uh, option you can select in this case is option d okay or if there is an option like increases first remain constant and then decreases if there is such a such an option is given you can uh, definitely go for that option but when you are considering the options given for this question which is the most appropriate one which is option d increases first and then decreases okay so in this video we mainly discussed about traditional approach which is one of the important capital structure approach you can also refer other videos which is uploaded in applb academy youtube channel which is related to net income net operating income and mm approach so all these approaches are very important you can expect questions from any of these approaches okay it can be any of these approaches but definitely there will be a question from this particular area so it is very important that you should go through all these approaches assumption about all these approaches and who proposed it what are the main features of it so i hope this video will help you for your preparation thank you and happy learning